But first here at 5:30, a Charlotte-based company accused of incorrectly giving nearly a dozen people a scary diagnosis. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Rachel Brown alongside Bill McGinty. Yeah, so how would you feel if you were wrongly diagnosed with HIV? Our team uncovering that this has happened to a growing number of people. NBC Charlotte defender Nathan Morbita learned some of these people say they nearly killed mm. themselves over this. An attorney who's filed suit against Octa Pharma Plasma Incorporated told us he's heard from 10 people with similar stories. Plasma donors who say the company headquartered in Charlotte gave them fear inducing news that they're HIV positive. Turns out they're not. Um, <sighs> Derek Anderson is still not over it. It was just a stunning situation. The longtime plasma donor says he stopped visiting an Octa Pharma donation center in Texas after he received devastating news. Pop me into a little room and slid me a little paper and was like, you have HIV. What? He says it prompted him to contemplate suicide. Where is the closest Walmart so I can go drink bleach? All right, that's, that was my first thought. Banned from donating plasma anymore, Anderson says he decided to visit his doctor. And that's when he learned he's actually HIV negative. You can't keep doing this to people. Long before his reported misdiagnosis, Michael Sutton accused Octa Pharma of the same thing at its Dallas location. He has a pending lawsuit against the company. They could have caused me to go home and say, well, they're the professionals. That's the end of it and in my life. His attorney says 10 people have contacted him with similar stories. People who are not in a position to do to defend themselves and to do much about it. And he believes all of the false positive testing is happening right here in North Carolina. Not only is the company headquartered here. I'm not concerned about that. There are also three Octopharma plasma donation centers in Charlotte. You trust them? I do. I trust them. And while the accusations from other parts of the country caught donors here off guard. Well, that's kind of bad, but down here, you know, it's, it's good quality service. They told us they have full faith in the company. The people in there, they're, they're really nice. They're, they're concerned. Um, they pay attention to what's going on. So what does Octa Pharma have to say to calm any concerns? We've reached out to the company multiple times over the last week and have yet to hear an official response. Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte.